Thank you for uh, hanging in. Um, my name is Anne Nutte, as I was just introduced. Uh, compared to the other presentations, uh, I'm going to share a very early startup uh, with you. And I would like to inform you what we've been doing over the last couple of months. Uh, since March uh, 15, we are centered in Amsterdam. And uh, this presentation is also as an invitation for all of you who feels like interested uh, for exchanging ideas on this and possible collaborations in the future. Uh, the tagline of the center could be art and art education as catalyst for educational and societal innovation. So it's not only the arts as a catalyst for societal, uh, critical societal innovation, but also for educational uh, innovation. And I think that aligns quite nicely with several of the presentations here earlier. We uh, are a network institute, uh, meaning that we are working together with uh, six Dutch universities of applied sciences both from uh, social sciences, uh, the arts, uh, design, and uh, technology, and teachers training uh, professors. So the six professors from different disciplines and uh, a vocational school, that's quite special that they also wanted to join us. Um, these regional vocational schools in the Netherlands are huge. So it's a considerable partner. And the idea is that at least in all projects, two or more of the partners are collaborating uh, with each other. And the inter or transdisciplinary collaboration and the knowledge generation about these exchanges is, yeah, oh, ooh. <laughs> is uh, of crucial importance uh, to us. So, um, uh, maybe you all know why it is so important to have educational innovation, but I would like to repeat it. Uh, maybe you uh, run into this publication, Wicked Art Assignments, by uh, two professors of house centers who are also the initiators. Center, uh, Professor Emil Heine and Professor Melissa Bremer from the Amsterdam University of the Arts. And they have a kind of hit uh, worldwide with this book. It is a uh, very nice condensed assignments from professors from all over the world uh, who are um, sharing the wicked art assignments. And what it is actually uh, also showing us is the need for new practices and new skills for teachers and tutors. And so quite often it's only the focus to have uh, students working in innovative ways, but we also notice that it's of crucial importance to also work together and do research together with teachers uh, and tutors to have new skills or to also include them in the research uh, for future educational uh, programs. And that's nice, I just saw it. Uh, we work together very closely with uh, the Science Gallery International and in our uh, event uh, this um, November, uh, Andrea Bandelli uh, showed the same thing and he explains if the movie works, uh, why it is so important is for science. Uh, chart by uh, Mary Oxman that like a clock shows indeed the progress um, if you start on the on the 12 o'clock basically a bit higher of information oh, going to that? science and science creates knowledge um, which is then transformed by engineering yeah. into utility into things that work and then indeed the role of design is to to create and to understand behaviors and that they link between behaviors 
uh, and art gives rise to new information because that's the innovation and the the uh, the, the role of, of art to create indeed to spark new um, new information that then goes into science. So it's like a, a, a circle indeed, which expresses very well the the relationship between these. Um, okay, the, the this is hard to uh, that, that to grasp um, for you. I just um, continue. Bio, which is you actually also summarized in this uh, chart by. Uh, Ned um, the movie can be found on uh, the on the net with his uh, full uh, talk. Basically, he is. Uh, I had a very nice conversation with him, where he explained why science and technology really do need the arts for uh, innovation. So. Um, I'll be happy to share that uh, movie. It's uh, on YouTube. You can uh, find it, Arts Loves Sciences. And uh, Andrea Bandelli, then uh, you get there. Um, another line of uh, inquiry we are fostering in the Center of Expertise, Arts and Education is uh, social and critical engagement. And this is an example, we worked together with an uh, artist from Amsterdam, Dominique Himmelsbach uh, de Vries. He created this paper monument for the paperless, so documents for the undocumented, and those posters of the pictures of the undocumented were uh, basically uh, all over the city and got a lot of uh, attention, and we invited him as uh, a collaborator with one of our research to make art classes and uh, in uh, primary and secondary schools. Uh, that was actually quite uh, interesting because in the Netherlands, there is this whole emphasis on citizen education and nobody actually knows what it is. So we try to come up with critical and sometimes slightly provocative suggestions what this could be. Um, Natalie Rose uh, is one of the researchers working on this. Uh, it's quite uh, successful so far. And this is uh, not, it's quite empty this page because uh, our colleagues uh, Una Henry and Michel van Dartel, who is also here at ICEA, are exploring what we can do with the so-called green competencies in art education. Because there is a slight mismatch with, for example, the Dutch uh, curricula and competencies. Still, we really feel, and our students really feel, the importance to engage with the sustainability uh, goals, and especially when it comes to all kind of climate related uh, issues. So here, this is an invitation for people who feel like discussing that with us and maybe start a collaboration in the near future or at least to investigate that. So what uh, this is in a nutshell what we uh, will be doing and what we are doing so far. Um, we really try to get the outdoor world in the school and get the school out uh, into the world. So there's a lot of consultations, work uh, sessions that will lead to research questions, practice-based or practice-led research and knowledge transfers. And for, as you all know, that all goes all directions all the time. It's not a linear process. There's, um, for example, the 21 volume six uh, issue of the European uh, Journal of STEM Education that was dedicated to STEAM education and most of our professors contributed uh, to that. And we had several uh, workshops on bio art and how to teach bio art for uh, secondary uh, education in high schools. 
and we are working on a video, they call, we call it video lessons. Uh, and there we invite a media artist working with a specific technological or scientific uh, topic and based on their work and a video interview we create uh, lessons for uh, secondary schools, high schools uh, that includes assignments for the arts but also assignments for technology and assignments for science and they all need to do it. So also the uh, pupils who have uh, a profile in science also will work on the arts assignments and the pupils with uh, a profile in the arts and other um, things also will work on the technology and the science uh, assignment. So that's it. Thank you very, very much. Uh, so far, our website is mainly in Dutch. Uh, we have short translation that's still being worked on. And we are planning to be here next year uh, in Paris, that is, hopefully, with a full presentation with a lot of uh, interesting projects. And I look forward to have a conversation with you about possibities to uh, exchange or work together. Thank you.